A few weeks ago, I set out to produce better YouTube videos. That meant I wanted to write, edit, and record my script all on one computer. I didn't want to go back and forth between computer writing and editing on one computer and displaying it on another, like an iPad or an Android tablet. This is important because after a while, I can't see how to improve my videos until I've actually recorded it. Going back and forth between devices gets me frustrated, and then I start to cut corners. To display my script on the teleprompter mirror, I've attached a third small external HDMI monitor. It's an IOVO, which I bought for $60. For software, I'm using Teleprompter Pro, which is $8 in the Microsoft Store, and which I highly recommend. The software has a neat feature where it can duplicate the display on any monitor attached to your PC. Next, I want a more efficient workflow for video recording. Shooting, taking the card out of the camera, copying the files onto the computer, that's another time robber. After much research on USB video capture devices, I settled on a new device from Elgato, the CamLink, which was $130 when I bought it. I attached my Sony A6300 to it through HDMI. I then powered the camera through USB, so I don't need to worry about a battery. I was using a Tackstar Mini Boom mic through the camera's input, and though that worked well, I experimented with various mics and eventually settled on the Shure SM27B to assure XLR to USB, which minimizes noise. Here I'm talking through the Tackstar. I'm doing this so you can hear that you don't really need an expensive mic to get good audio. The CamLink doesn't come with capture software, so I fired up Bandicam to test it. Bandicam was developed for game capture. I don't even play games. But like many, I find it the perfect reasonably priced video capture tool, both for screen capture and webcams. It can be a little complicated, However, the upside is that it allows you to tweak exactly the amount of quality and performance trade-offs you wish to make. I picked the Motion J JPEG codec because it allows for fast scrubbing in the Premiere timeline, and the quality, which can be set to 100, is very good for green screen or chroma key work. I also tried OBS, and although it is fantastic software, it only records in H.264, which does not scrub well in a timeline, especially when applying effects. For me, going directly to Motion JPEG is well worth the $40. I've been using it for years. Highly recommended. If you're going to use OBS, I suggest you transcode the output to ProRes, Cineform, DNxHD, or some other editing software-friendly codec. You can use the free FFmpeg utility or one of its derivatives. In conclusion, I discovered that the CamLink capture device works very well but there's no easy free solution to capture in an NLE-friendly codec. In audio, no matter what microphone I used, the closer it is to my mouth, the better. Room echo hurts the quality. I put the mic as close to possible without getting into the frame. Generally, the better mics have a cleaner sound with less noise. Premiere will tolerate H.264 for editing, but can easily get aggravated. If I'm going to do green screen work, I need to work with editing-friendly codecs like Motion JPEG, and it's gotten a bad rap, though I like it. So now I have a way to write and edit my scripts, record a performance, immediately review it on my computer, and edit it, all without leaving my chair. Here is my current editing process in Premiere. I first crop out the area of the frame I know I won't use. It's difficult to get a good key using consumer equipment because there's so much color compression. The other problem is that I'm close to the green screen, which means green light spills into my hair, etc. After I crop and play with the keying controls until I get a good mat, then I'm good to go. This whole script was done in one take, so you can see how you know, beneficial it is to be able to do all this in the computer, or at least it will be for me, because I can now take this whole take, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to intersperse with videos showing the cam link and the microphones and other stuff um, you know, without worrying that I'm missing something. Like As long as I have everything in the script, I should be good. Um, so I hope you find this helpful. Again, the basic thing I wanted to say is this Camlink thing is fantastic. And I'm not paid by them. I'm not paid by anybody. Thanks for watching.